Hello and welcome to the Tech Bytes audio cast. My name's Tim and I'm from the Open Bytes Blogazine and with me is Dr. Roy Shesterwitz from the Tech Rights website. It's Friday night and I'm gonna get sauce. I fought the troll and the troll lost. I fought the troll and the troll lost. He tried to boss me and was outbossed. I fought the troll and the troll lost. I fought the troll and the troll lost Underneath this creeper bridge Hoping goats will cross Quoting Ashcroft and Tom Ridge I fought the troll Obviously, quite famously, the FSFs made a statement about Facebook uh, And my question was, what is your take on Google Plus? I know you've stated that in your website uh, very briefly um, And also, are there any centralized platforms that kind of actually Dean B9? Well, the first, the first question is, well, the FSF doesn't talk about Facebook too much. I do, but it's mm-hmm. mainly, it's, it's a different issue from the free software issue. Uh, so, I, I'm concerned with other issues of freedom besides that of free versus proprietary software. So, I disapprove of Facebook because collects a lot of personal information, and I don't think it's good for anything to do that. When I give a speech, at the beginning I ask people, please don't put photos of me in Facebook. And then I explain why. When you put a photo with people in it, in Facebook, Facebook asks people, asks users, to enter the names of those people. In other words, that photo gives Facebook an opportunity to do added surveillance of those people, whoever is the victim of having a photo put in Facebook. So I would suggest that if you are friends with somebody, that you help that, that you treat that person well by not putting photos of that person in Facebook. And in any case, I ask people not to put photos of me in Facebook. Now, there are many other bad things Facebook does. See stolman.org slash facebook.html for a list of quite a few. But what about Google Plus? Well, from what I know, which is not everything, Google Plus does some of these bad things, but not all. One bad thing that they both do is require people to give their real names. Now, uh, Google Plus says that in some cases they will be willing to publish a pseudonym, but they demand to know the person's real name. Well, I think that's enough reason not to use it. I urge you not to use uh, such communication systems which demand to know who you really are. Because if they do that, they're basically, uh, they're one more eye of Big Brother. I don't go around trying to keep track of these things. Mm -hmm. Um, Twitter might be okay. You've got to be careful how you use it. I mean, first of all, it is possible to use Twitter without running non-free software. It wasn't easy to make an account, but apparently it could be done through their mobile version of the site. Mm -hmm. The problem with the regular Twitter site is it tries to make you run non-free JavaScript programs. Mm -hmm. And you'll notice that if you have installed the LibreJS extension of Firefox. That's a GNU package whose purpose is to enable you to avoid running non-free JavaScript programs and also to make it easy to complain to the webmasters about the non-free JavaScript programs. So, um, but you, but it is possible to work around that. And as for actually sending and viewing tweets, it's not so hard to avoid using non-free software. So, and Twitter doesn't require people to uh, give their real names, and if you make an effort, you can avoid sending it your geographical location or anything like that, which of course is a really dumb thing to do, as uh, certain protesters, dissidents in the U.S. have discovered. So, 
in lots of pages. Well, if you visit one of those pages, that means Facebook is getting information about your browsing, even if you're not a Facebook user. And Google has one plus buttons, and they do the same thing. And I think Twitter also ha has such a kind of button that you would find in various pages. We're going to release a browser modified to block all those. I, I think one of the issues, I think in practice, one of the issues is many of the browsers these days have actually got some surveillance built in, and one of the usual excuses is that it's for security, so they try to prevent phishing scams and things like, such as that. So I think since Internet Explorer version 7 and Google Chrome and several other browsers, by default they will track the users and leave a trail, or at least provide the company making the browser with the list of pages you visit, so the other ways of... Those are non-free programs. Internet Explorer is non-free, and Google Chrome is non-free. Not only that, Google Chrome has a universal backdoor, which is another way of saying auto-update. Basically, it means that Google can forcibly impose software changes, and the user can't say no. This is the same thing that Microsoft has in Windows. So Microsoft can also impose software changes. Any malicious feature that's not in the program today could be remotely installed tomorrow. So once the program has a universal backdoor, you must consider it not merely malware, but universal malware. Friday night and I'm gonna get sauced I fought the troll and the troll lost I fought the troll and the troll lost He tried to boss me and was outbossed I fought the troll and the troll lost I fought the troll and the troll lost Underneath his creeper bridge Hoping goats will cross Quoting Ashcroft and Tom Ridge I fought the troll and the troll lost I fought the troll and the troll lost He's even dumber than Mickey Cost I fought the troll and the troll lost I fought the troll and the troll lost I wouldn't last two minutes with David Frost I fought the troll and the troll lost I fought the troll and the troll lost His worldview sounds like pro wrestling Although not as nuanced Behind his eyes the wind's whistling I fought the troll and the troll lost I fought the troll and the troll lost I kicked him off a of pentagon and atrios I fought the troll and the troll lost I fought the troll and the troll lost He's permanently banned from daily cost I fought the troll and the troll lost I fought the troll and the troll lost And in November W And all his thugs will toss We'll try to fix America I fought the troll and the troll lost I fought the troll and the troll lost And all you trolls out there trying to aggravate everyone with your stupidity, illogic, and blind, unthinking devotion to the Bush regime, this section is especially for you. I'm not going to name any of you out loud, not wanting to give you even the slightest possible notoriety, but as you sink under the weight of your own asininity into an intellectual La Brea tar pit, you can imagine that I sing your nom de guerre right now and bask in a stolen fame you don't deserve. 